hello psychonauts so 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 i am back from a trip that i had about a week ago now and it so happened to be the highest dose lsd trip of my lifetime so i have quite the story to tell you and this video is probably not going to be the final trip report but I just had to get something out there. I had to get something out there. Um, but this happened a week ago. And another thing that happened a week ago is it was my birthday. And it happened to be kind of a significant one, depending on how you look at it. And I'll get into more to that later but <laughs> but first i need to breathe anyway i packed my acid in my bible aka be here now backed her up and we went off into nature the woods a cabin a river a canoe a cave lots of things lots of things okay Okay, as you can see, you can probably tell that something happened. And you would be right. <laughs> you would be right. <sighs> okay. So yeah, I turned 30 years old. Happy birthday. I turned 30, isn't that crazy? You know, there's this old saying in from the 60s counterculture about never trust anybody over the age of 30. Um, <laughs> and you know, I have my own reasons, of course. But uh, as you know, sort of an ode to that, I took the highest dose LSD trip that I've ever done in my life. I took my highest dose ever and I timed it. <laughs> I turned 30 to the hour, to the minute while I'm still peaking at the highest dose experience of my entire life. <sighs> okay, let's get back down. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. You're gonna have to work with me. You're gonna have to work with me. You're gonna have to. Did you know though, that if we had six fingers on each hand, Turning 30 wouldn't even mean anything. And let me tell you why. If we had six fingers on each hand, we wouldn't use a decimal system. We would use a dodecimal system, a, t a base 12 system. And in a base 12 system, there really wouldn't be anything significant about 30. I mean, I, it would be more important to turn 24 or the number we call 24 or the number we call 36. But this was also interesting, you know, all the patterns are coming together and I did come to one conclusion. I mean, 12 is a very important number. There's a lot of numbers that are going to be very important. <laughs> 12 is one of them and it's associated with dodecahedrons. Dodecahedrons are very important and uh, I plan on figuring out why. Okay, okay. <laughs> This is, this is going to be a bit challenging, as you can see, because I'm still putting myself back together. <laughs> okay. Be here now. Okay, do you want to know the dose? The dose was approximately 700 micrograms taken all at once. Oh, another one of those numbers that is important is three. You know, three is a magic number. They told us that in Schoolhouse Rock, if you paid attention. Three is a magic number. And there's a lot of reasons why. But anyway, maybe that's a side note. <sighs> See, I don't know if I can even tell you about this. I have an idea. I'm going to tell you one thing about it, because this was a really good one. I'm pretty sure I was peaking at this point, and I don't even remember if it was before or after I turned 30, but I was listening to the song. The song came on, You Can't Always Get What You Want by the Rolling Stones. I'm sure you all know it. 
and it, it was that that beginning part and uh i don't even know what's happening at this point because it's kind of like everything's just happening maybe you know what i mean and it like as this build up in the first part comes up you know i'm like building up this thing and it's just happening and if you try sometimes you'll find and here my arms go you get what you need so we go up to the sky and i have this like vision of like the mind lattice like the alex gray mind lattice and something happened something happened and i got what i needed from the universe i got some sort of like divine intervention i get what you need anyway that's just one of many experiences that i was having are you experienced <laughs> that song got me through quite a bit um if you can just get your mind together then come on across to me you know We'll hold hands and then we'll watch the sun rise from the bottom of the sea. But first, are you experienced? Have you ever been experienced? Well, I have. I know, I know probably scream and cry that your little world won't let you go but who in your meaty little world <laughs> ain't trying to prove that you're made out of gold and uh, can't be sold <laughs> so uh are you experienced <sighs> okay that's enough of that right okay i just had to get that out <laughs> I had to get a lot of things out, actually. I let so much go. I let so much go. I I mean, like, literally, I, like, let... I released trauma during this experience. I don't even know what all I want to tell you right now because there's so much, and I really don't have... I really don't even have the space to make as long of a video as I want. And, you know, if you've been watching up until this point, you'll know that it's my intention to not edit this at all. So... It's all just here. You're going to see it. You're going to just see what's happening to me, like, in real time. Don't worry about me, though. I, I do want you guys, you shouldn't worry about me. You know, I really have a good head. I'll be okay, okay? <laughs> I feel like I was born to do this. And I'll tell you more about that later, too. But, whew. No, but I had to do this dance the whole time. It made me, like it made me do this dance. Oh my God. I also had this, um, you know, and I never really believed in this before, but I had this like Kundalini experience. I don't know. I'll have to think about researching it more to put more of the pieces together, but it was very distinctive and yeah, there's something to it. Love is the answer. Love is the answer. I think that's one of the songs that really got me through too. Um, in particular, it was this song Mind Games by John Lennon. Um, <laughs> and part of it, it goes, love is the answer. And you know that for sure. I know that for sure. You know, yes is the answer. And you know that for sure <laughs> yes is surrender you gotta let it gotta let it go i love it it's it was just such a beautiful experience and i have so much more to tell you than i can that i can even hope to put into words right now but i'm working on it i really am and i think there's value in it the magical mystery tour you know i did listen to the magical mystery tour that was a good one Oh my god. 
I have so much. I have too much to tell you. Um, okay, so this video has almost gone on for 11 minutes, and that was kind of the number I had in mind for how long I was going to let it go. So you're just going to have to come back next time. You're just going to have to, okay? <laughs> but in the meantime, um, just just be here now and we'll be here now then when i'm back to tell you more about the experience uh <sighs> okay i'll see you in the next one